Now, to say the educational landscape has changed over the last decade is quite an understatement. There are tools and resources available today we never could have imagined, including something known as a makerspace. Here's how it works at Columbus Academy. The term is makerspace, a creative DIY space where people can create, invent, and learn. At Columbus Academy, it's about asking the question, what if, then discovering the answer. Being able to, to not have an, an end point, I think, is going to really spark their intellectual curiosity to say, how does this work, why does it work, or what else could we do? It's going to keep them going. The makerspace movement at Academy takes place here, a room with open tables surrounded by resources. Science teacher Todd Martin says kids can use everything from old school Legos to new school 3D printers to turn their ideas into reality. Some come in with an exact idea that I need to come and print a part for my robot. Other kids come in here and they're getting out arts and crafts materials, whether it's, it's, you know, it's pipe cleaners and cardboard, and they're making a prototype, they're making a chair. And they're encouraged to do it all with little direction. Technology has come such a long way that we can bring students into this area and, and do that same kind of thing and say, let's make something move. And then from that standpoint, that's as, that's, that's as much direction as we have to give them. And instead they have these resources and have these um, tools and, and, and bins of Legos or pieces of wood or even just cardboard and or here with 3D printers and, and be able to say, oh, I want to make, make a bicycle. Oh, I want to make a spaceship. I want to make um, a dollhouse. I want to make a nightlight. And they can just, they can take those, the ideas or things they're passionate about or, or their curiosities and and actually produce something that's tangible. Martin uses this makerspace classroom to lead 3D design, a sort of extracurricular for middle school kids at Academy. They come in during an activity period. When it comes to utilizing a makerspace, the only real parameters are right up here. So these kids no older than ninth grade are creating things that open, move, and actually function with a 3D printer. They can actually see how the things that are happening in our more traditional classes um, come to life. So is actually applying, applying our math, um, applying science, applying concepts like you know, Newton's laws to a real life situation and say, oh, here's how a gear works. Um, or, oh, this is force. Or this is what it means to, to double the size of something. It's all part of the changing landscape in education, Martin says, a new way of looking at things for our future generations. Before I was kind of the instructor and give, give them instructions or, or the, the, the bearer of the knowledge. And now it's more of like a, a facilitator and a director of the space. So not only does his title of teacher stray from the typical definition, so does the role of his students, who sometimes know more about the technology than the adults. And we come in here and say, okay, today's challenge is to build something that moves. And then they're going to access um, new technologies, new apps, new, new piece of software equipment that I'm not necessarily an expert in, that, nor are they, but together we're able to problem solve. And once they do, the results are pretty incredible. Kids have designed everything from basic robots to parts for wind turbines, even hoverboards. They learn how to code and use microcontrollers. And above all, Martin says they learn a very valuable lesson. I think the most impressive thing is when kids come in and they have an idea and they and they build it or they, they try to design it and it doesn't work the first time. I, I think it's been the, the most tangible way to see what it means to fail safely. Even the kindergartners have used the maker spaces, which Martin says was a good reminder of why they exist. Just the, the, the wonderment when they walk in the room and they're full, full, so full of questions and, and, and they're not in here see, asking, you know, when's the test um, or am I doing this right or wrong? They, they couldn't wait to get their hands on some of the 3D printed objects to ask questions about how does this work, what color is it, um, is it hot. Simply put, that is why the makerspace movement is becoming so popular, preparing all kids for life beyond school. This school is not an endpoint, nor is college an endpoint, but this is, this is real life. We're preparing kids for a world that we can hardly imagine.